This tutorial is about creating any shape or form with the mesh generator by MasterScript. With a few easy actions, any mesh can be made in just a few moments. We took the existing Savile building in Windsor Great Park, United Kingdom as inspiration. First we have imported an image and used it as a reference. We will draw the basic outline with some simple lines. After removing the image, we will place the object Mesh Generator. I choose the rotated diagonal placement method. I can choose direction and length in one go. Then we select the default object settings and set some options. For the curved roof of the Savile building, we choose the half sinus option. We place the object in the floor plan and multiply and rotate it about 20 times. Then, without deselection, we will adjust the object to the intersection with the boundary. We will fast forward this section. After the top boundary, we will proceed to the boundary below. Then we will continue to the elevation and adjust the height of the object. Subsequently, the height of each element is adjusted simply by clicking on the editable hotspot and dragging it to its new position. This can also be done in the 3D window. In the floor plan, all mesh generators are selected and mirrored. In the 3D window, we can see the raw shape. On to an important step. We have already imported the two schedules which came with the download. Simply generate the first mesh generator schedule. We will save it as a simple text file. We open the file in Notepad++. Choose Search, Find and click the Replace tab. We search for the semicolon and replace it by backslash N. Click Replace All, then you save the file. Back in Archicad, we choose Option, Place Mesh from Surveyor Data, select the file, we import the mesh. In the 3D window, the mesh will show. This is now a normal Archicad mesh with all its functionalities. The mesh generator has a special option for creating a shell. Check the option Generate Lower Surface and type the desired thickness. Now generate the Mesh Generator Lower Surface Schedule and follow the same routine we did with the first mesh. Once imported, we offset the mesh by a little. Then, by putting the lower surface to a different layer and subtract it from the top surface with solid element operation, we have generated a fantastic shell with constant thickness. Check more examples on the website masterscript.nl